Hello, my name is Rachel Marable and I'm from the Smithfield Public Library. What my craft is called is the pen is mightier than. And what we're going to be doing today is making fake quill pens. This is a part of the summer virtual learning series. What you'll have in your packet is the instruction sheet. Also two pieces of paper that are cut into feathers. Two pens and then also two 12 inch pieces of masking tape. And what you should have at home that you'll have to bring to the kit is some Elmer's school glue or just school glue. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is take the masking tape from the paper. This should be relatively easy because masking tape is not as tacky as office tape. So it should come right off. The first piece of masking tape we're going to flatten out. And what we're going to be constructing, we're going to be constructing a shaft for the feather. And what a shaft is, is the hard ridge part that runs through the middle of a feather. I'm going to fold the tape into thirds. so that it looks like the shaft of a feather. I'm not going to fold the bottom in because that's going to attach to the ink pen. Okay, so what we'll need to do now is to unscrew our glue and apply a small line or ridge of glue along the feather. And you can pick either side. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shaft that I just made with the masking tape. I'm going to place it along the line of glue on the back of my feather. It's okay if you put too much glue on because that glue is going to dry clear. I'm going to pat it down and press it down. And I'm going to let it dry. So I'm going to put it to, off to the side. So after it's dried, your feather should look like this. The shaft should be attached to the feather with the school glue and it should be dried and it shouldn't be moving around. Okay, so the reason why we didn't fold the masking tape is because we're going to attach it to the pen. Right now I'm going to set it aside because I need to wrap my pen with masking tape. So again, I'm going to get the other strip of masking tape from a piece of paper. I'm going to set my paper aside and uncap the pen. So with the pen, with the ballpoint facing up to the ceiling, I'm going to place my tape with the angle at the top of the grip for the pen. I'm going to fold it around it and then I'm going to gradually wrap the pin in the masking tape. This won't take long at all. Sometimes your tape will be a little bunched and that's okay. So you're just going to roll it flat inside of the masking tape. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want the pin to match the shaft of the feather. Since I have so much excess tape, I'm going to continue just wrapping it at the bottom. Okay, so now my pen is wrapped. Remember that feather that just dried with the shaft? We're going to attach it to the pen now. So with your ballpoint ball facing toward the floor, we're going to face it to the feather, either side, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to wrap the stem of the tape 
around the pin. So you're going to wrap your tape around the pin tightly. And there it is. This is a fake or a faux quill pen. For more information, tune in to www.cobpl.org. Thank you.